This is the most requested steroid profile that people have asked me for. Testing Amphate, it's the one I use the most. I think it might be the most used steroid out there. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I reckon it is, it should be anyway. This is the only thing that everybody should be using. The reason why that is, is because it is the one that closest mimics, if you take it in the right amount, your own body's natural production of testosterone. It's the closest one to it. There's so many esters out there. This is by far the closest one to your natural production. So how I came about this, as I've mentioned in other posts or in other videos, I started with orals, bad move, never ever do that. I was ill-advised, I was young. And then I went on to Sosendeca, again, wrong, never ever do that. You should never take any of those through things. Then I slowly came about Test and Anthe. And back in those days, it was called Test of Viron. It came from Iran back in the days. Now it comes from Pakistan. Baya Labs are over there in Karachi, I think. I don't know whether they've closed down since COVID, but I don't know. They are there anyway. That's where you get it from. The, it used to come in a box. It was a box, 10 vials, single ampules, and it was from Iran. I can't remember the brand name back in the days. And I'm not even going to try and guess because it's on the, it's right there, but I just can't think. I, I can see the visual image, but I can't think what it was called. Anyway, white and blue box. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It was in two strips of five single ampules. First came about it, there was a big dude who used to come in and he always used to go on about test of iron, test and amphay, test of iron. It was called them days. I didn't know it was the same thing, but it is. Test of iron, test and amphay. So I thought, okay, I'll do a cycle of test of iron, test and amphay. 250 milligram per week. Took it back in those days in the green needle, one mil a week. That's what I use. Didn't feel anything. It was one of those things that slowly creep up on you. Now, previous to this, I've tried a couple of other things. When I took Test and Amphe, I was expecting to blow up, get massive, because everyone raves about this being crazy strong. It's super strong. It looks very thick and gloopy compared to the watery underground lab stuff that we normally buy. This looked very farmer grade proper from, from a proper lab in a glass vial. So I took it week three, week four, nothing, like literally nothing. I'm talking zero. You know how we like take certain tablets or you take certain stuff like so Sendeka and it slowly creeps up on you and you're like, yeah, week two, yeah, I can feel it. Week three, I can feel it. Week four, bam, nothing with testy, zero. Didn't feel nothing. Then came week five. Now when week five came, it was not to 100, literally. Because I think it would just take that long for it to kick in. It did me anyway. And when week five came, I was like, wow, this is some proper stuff. And I'd cycled with it many times after that. One of the main reasons I used to like it, and this was just without reading in any books or without reading on Google or, you know, just without listening to people in the gym. Everyone had their own personal preference. You can speak to some guys in the gym and they'll tell you, Sus and Decker's safe. They'll, take you, hey, they'll tell you halo testing is safe. Uh, test suspension is very safe to take. Don't listen to nobody. Try and do your own research or listen to somebody respectable. Now, when I took testosterone and anthate and I'd taken the other stuff, I felt the cleanest on testy. I felt like it was the safest. When I did the blood test, because I was doing regular blood tests at the time, back in the days, what people don't know, it used to be free if you lived in Sheffield. You could walk in every Wednesday and get your bloods done. And they saw me every single weekend. Then it moved to Fortnite and I was there every fortnight. I have done so many blood tests. I can almost guarantee you there's a lot of pro bodybuilders out there that haven't done more blood tests than me because I was very health conscious about this thing. I wanted to learn it. I wanted to study it. So when people come, so that's the first time that's happened on me. The memory card got full. I forgot to reformat it. I've just done that. I'm learning. I'm learning. So where was I? I was talking about blood tests and saying that I've done many blood tests because I'm very health conscious. I like to see exactly what's going on on the inside. And test and amphate was one of the only steroids that I took something on its own, not with stacking it with anything else, that I had the least health markers go up or down. So cholesterol, liver enzymes, a, you know, ALT, FS, whatever it was. I'm not going to get into it. There was a lot of markers you want to check for. Some things are more important than others. Please, uh, either if you want to know what that is, book a consultation. Link will be down in the description or speak to somebody who has the knowledge on taking gear. Now, for me, it was one of the safest things out there. 
It is well documented that it is one of the safest things out there. And now a lot of clinics all over the world prescribe it as TRT. Low dose testosterone, how much? Again, link is in the description. My TRT protocol is there. So when I took uh, testonamphate, it was one of the things that took the longest to kick in. But boy, when it kicked in, did I feel good. And it was a different kind of good feeling. You don't get the strongest. You don't get the leanest. You don't become like more alert than anything else. There's so many things out there. If you want a specific thing for each kind of like physical attribute, you can find it. But across the board, Testananthe does everything. So when you see me compete, I was on Testananthe. If you see me on holiday when I'm absolutely shredded, Testananthe. Single digit body fat, Testananthe. Strong as hell, deadlifting three, 300 kg, squatting 260, Testananthe. I was always taking that and I've never stopped taking it. Obviously, now I do a TRT dose of it. I'm very smart and very wise to what I do. I've got this information of some of their best TRT specialists in the world. Not just blanket statement doctors, some of the best TRT specialists who do this for a living in the world. So for the single reason that this causes me the less side effects, if anything, it's zero, literally zero. I don't get gyno off this. I don't get high blood pressure off this. I monitor it every single day. There's one right there. I don't get oily skin off this. Uh, I don't get, what is it? I've mentioned a prolactin. I don't get, you know, the, the old bitch tits. I don't get none of that. I get no, no, no loss of libido, zero. Absolutely zero side effects. And I don't take any AIs with this. That's the best thing. That's the beauty about testosterone and the dose that I take in. I don't take any AIs. AIs is going to be in a video, but why people take AIs is beyond me. People always think that, oh, if this is happening, like I, did, I made a video about Deca the other day. If you're taking Deca, you can lactate from your nips. People just say, well, if this is happening, why don't you just take this to counteract it? Why would you want to take anything to counteract something? Why would you just want to mask an issue? The best thing to do is stop taking that or take it a safe dose. Stop trying to mask every single thing up. Sometimes the tire needs changing. You can't just keep repairing the punctures. Hopefully this video gave you some value. Please comment down below about your testosterone and anthe experiences and like the video.